Hello everyone. In the previous video, we are successfully able to render this template into our PDF, right? And we decided to change this image. Our image is not rendering and we decided to fix this issue. But before this, we are going to do one more step. We are going to fix this later, right? We are going to pass the dynamic properties to this blade, right? So let's go to the controller one and this one is a controller where we are rendering this index blade and this one is a simple index blade, right? Now the time is to return a dynamic variable from here. So I'm going to uh, call this name and I'm going to name this so uh, Adayat Niazi and uh, save this one. And in the documentation, let's go to the documentation and documentation says that you need to pass this uh, like uh, in the second parameter okay let's do it as a second parameter so i'm going to name and in the index file let's go to this index file and in the index after this welcome i'm going to remove this uh, image for now i'm going to comment this image let me make this uh, comment here. I'm going to comment this out and here I'm going to print the name, right? So we are passing the name from there and then we are rendering this here. So let's go back and open this out. So localhost generate PDF and it's going to generate the PDF and it's throwing the error. Why it's throwing the error? It's throwing that uh, must be type of array string given so it means that we don't need to pass this variable like uh, uh, like this so it's uh, mentioned in the documentation but it's wrong that's why i'm going to show you that uh, why uh, you need to take care about everything because this documentation is uh, saying that you need to pass the data as simply you need to pass the data variable but here you need to pass it as an array so you can pass this in your laravel wish way so you can pass this in the compact method here like oh, this compact and then you can pass this name so it will render like a charm okay let's get refresh and yes the pdf is generated and uh, it's saying that welcome diet niazi so it means that it's now passing this dynamic values to this PDF right so now the time is to pass this with one more method what is the name of one more method so here you need to pass this as an array so first you need to define your key and then you need to define your value so it's also name so save this one and it's also going to work so hit enter and yes the PDF is created and our dynamic name is there so it means that uh, we can pass the dynamic properties uh, like this. So now the time is to go back and here I'm going to pass another property. I'm going to add uh, an email. So I'm going to add our company co official email contact at the rate of cdlcell.com. And here I'm going to pass this uh, email, right? So how to do this? Let's add this here like this and like this right as we are doing this in the laravel so it's pretty uh, much identical okay and uh, uh, your email is i'm doing this uh, let me do this in the paragraph tag so your email is uh, your company email is your company email is why i'm doing the mistake and again and again okay and here i'm going to add this email right so now it's going to print us uh, this dynamic email so let's go here and hit enter so it's going to render the dynamic uh, properties in the pdf wait for a moment and yes now it's saying that your company email is this one so it means that you can render any of your properties here so i clicked on it that's why it's opening this email so you can pause so 10 20 or 50 uh, parameter from this so 
uh, from this uh, array format like you are doing this in the laravel so it's pretty same so it's very simple so in the next video we are going to do our next step so i will meet you in the next one bye bye